Hey everyone, this is Dan Percival. I had pioneered the sport extreme ice skating and today I would like to show you the culmination of my work I've been working on all these years which is a result of everything that I had done in ice skating and with all the help of all of you. And you, as you had known, I was writing a, a research paper on this and now I'm going to show you the product of my work. I'm not going to show you the research paper, but I'm going to show you what it actually looks like, the science. I call it the social fabric framework, um, as well as social space-time. So let's get to it. Let me show you. Um, this is the cosmological um, um, perspective of what social space-time actually looks like. So you're kind of, you're kind of relating uh, contagions in society and um, and ideas and um, structures in society such as the government in correlation to um, things that have social mass in cosmology like the like the earth and the moons and asteroids and relating to the solar system here is a solar system or like this exoplanet which is the republican party this is what it would look like if you're looking at like a side view in hyperbolic space so in hyperbolic space in side view it looks it, you have these contagions here, so these contagions here on the bottom, and it, it spreads out like a tree in hyperbolic space. And these loop up to, uh, uh, to the highest point, so up here you would have people, and down here you would have people in groups, and then here you would have uh, systems, um, and then systems here, and then to the societal level, and group clusters, and so on and so forth as if you're looking at uh, the most stable part of a tree which is the trunk and then moving up until you get to the leaves as individual nodes or people. So in social space-time there are three big contagions in society uh, COVID-19, the economy as you can see here and uh, uh, trust in government. And the reason why trust in government exists is because of what the former president had did in terms of um, the events that um, rolled up, that the events that took place on uh, January 6th with the Capitol Hill riot, as well as other things that he has done and said through his words and his actions that resulted in um, what we now have is, is a fragile democracy. And the fra so fragile democracy is still connected as a tie to government and the stability and trust that people have in government though it, it is a uh, is, is presenting itself as a threat over here is the Republican Party I call it an exoplanet here is the result of the uh, Republican Party in the Senate for the failure or conviction of the former president um, for the behaviors to which he was engaged in as presented in the Senate impeachment trial um, and to which now is a contagion. Uh, the former president and Senator Mitch McConnell being the um, minority leader in the Senate are both connected to these contagions. They are seen as the two um, heads of or leaders of the party. If you don't, by the way, if you don't, uh, if, you, if you fail to convict um, the lawlessness that happened on January 6th because the Republicans were required in order to get a conviction in the Senate. They needed, seven, uh, uh, I believe, 65 votes then then that and all the democrats had voted for conviction to say that they can that these behaviors um that were engaged in january 6 capitol Hill riot were illegal or um lawless then uh that is incumbent on the republican party to to uh to follow through with the, the votes that are required and they did not so that places them as a as a an exoplanet in other words a party to which it presents a presents um, presents a danger um, in of itself to what it failed to convict. If you fail to convict these behaviors, then you're saying you're condoning these behaviors, and therefore that makes them an exoplanet. Uh, an exoplanet being meaning just they're just being thrown into outer space and it's something very unsafe. So all the things in red here are basically that which is unsafe. Uh, moving on here, COVID is. COVID-19, you have um, uh, vaccines, masks, hand washing, social distancing, and, 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 and uh, social distancing, and all the, all the protocols from the CDC. That's to which is related to this other object here, which is these very things specifically. So these are like uh, actual uh, dopamine goals or 
uh, uh, specific things that you do in everyday life to keep yourself safe. And that is therefore connected as a timeline to which we foresee in the future when we will return to a normalcy or ending coronavirus. So when we look at life particular and, and anything else as a result because we think of things linearly, we see them in terms of a timeline as like a straight line. So when we project out into the future of well, what's going to life going to be like in a few months from now or by the end of the year, you know, it looks in our minds it is a straight line. Now the economy is also tied to financial security because the COVID right now, you see COVID right now, uh, COVID is a direct cause and effect of the economy. That's why you see cause and effect. Um, you have a sense of urgency here with, the, with, with COVID-19. Um, the urgency is that COVID-19 is obviously a present threat. If it's a present threat, then you have to treat it with such urgency. Because people's lives, people are dying every day from this, uh, this virus. But we have a vaccine now. We have multiple vaccines. So that is what's a sec a, a, um, essentially what represents power here and safety and security. Now, the way these things, by the way, the way these things cross over is that, or overlap or of such, is that it represents a golden ratio, and what that means is that they all share a modular perspective of society. All the society, these are the biggest contagions affecting of what's happening now in social space-time. All of these things um, in society represent... Um, um, the, the biggest things that are touching all our lives are affecting all our lives and that this is this is a represent of what's the circuitry in our brains but this th what's happening here in the center is the overlap of everything of each other so this is the very thing that all these have in common power fear safety security um, financial security is 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 part of the COVID relief package because financial security is is an output of um, of the is a direct imp an output of the economy in terms of uh, whether the econ whether the economy is how the economy is being affected by COVID-19. Not to mention that these vaccines, like you have specific things like the vaccines, is a protection of people's lives here, and and people's lives as people's lives people losing their lives, their lives are being threatened. It is also is also has a cause and effect into the economy as well, and that's what you. Um, uh, and that's what you see in, in, in this, rela this, this relationship here. Financial, is financial security is an effect to the, a tie to this, which is also, an, which is also effectively, effectively tied to a return of normalcy because return of normalcy means not just that the virus has been completely crushed or almost crushed or, to, to, or taken away, but um, it means that our economy is now finally able to um, recover as it, as it would under conditions that are not being um, detrimentally affected by the by COVID-19. Uh, over here, as I mentioned, fragile democracy. It says societal subconscious contagion. Uh, it says subconscious contagion is something that's below the level of consciousness, so that this is in your minds, but it's not necessarily in your forethought thoughts all the time. Uh, so what that means is that it's it's something that affects our behavior, but at the subconscious level, which is this is the direct cause of. Of the former president, as well as um, failure of conviction in the Senate, to which this was created over, particularly over the last four years, um, you had the, how many times it had the former president coming out and uh, creating distrust in uh, in our media, and that that, that 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 you know he says don't believe what you hear and all these on and on. So you all get the hint. You all you all know you've lived through this and you're still living through this. But this is just a basic map to describe. You can understand by looking at this that this, this here is a result of this. And so the idea is to cast this out of society, to, to take the Republican Party um, uh, out of society because it, 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 if you can't convict basically lawlessness, what happened on January 6th, which is what we acquired the Republican Party, then, um, then you are a party which are basically saying you allow anything to happen. And to which means that if you, if you take out safety of basically government, you're trying to overthrow the government, like a tree, you pull out the root of the tree, the whole tree shakes, falls over, and that means the party's not about anything anymore, except for the very things that are guiding it in terms of its, its, um, its, its addiction processes. And its addiction processes is namely um, 
what we've been calling, what the news has been calling, everybody else is calling society uh, um, white supremacy, but that is all based on uh, fear. And fear is connected as, uh, or as bigotry. But in the golden ratio here in society, fear is actually um, a representation of, of fear of death from COVID or fear of, of, of losing your business or your job. So that's what makes this connected or fear that, the, that people won't have trust in government. Um, and by the way, getting rid of the Senate filibuster is also connected to fragile democracy because, because of this current threat, this subconscious threat. Um, so that's why uh, people, we have to regain trust in government. Um, uh, bigotry is the contagion here, um, but failure of, of, of conviction in the Senate impeachment trial of the former president is what creates, makes the Republican Party a representation of lawlessness as the contagion. And that is, um, uh, and that is, that is the result. I have the word bloody here. Um, what in other words, in other words, a police officer died on January 6. Uh, and lastly, here I have our country is dressed in immense power. Uh, we are Americans. We are Americans is, is, is tied to safety for each other and, rep and looking out for human rights, not only in our own country, but around the globe. And this is all um, entrusted through the power uh, and the leadership of the president, uh, through presidential leadership. And what that means is we are, we are addressed in immense power. Is we are addressed, immense power is that we are the shining city on the hill, that we represent a country of human rights and respect to human rights, which is basically what I call our survival mechanisms. Everything that we require for survival, but, no, but um, nothing conscious, nothing in our consciousness. So you can't assign intent, uh, it's everything in um, subconsciousness. All right, so that pretty much sums up uh, what this, what you're looking at here in terms of social space time and uh, social, I will continue to roll out more maps of social space time and politics, I guess if you will, uh, what they're current, but this is not much as politics this is really this is our society, what our society looks like, and this is a rep representation of everybody's brains right now in terms of the circuitry and how things are, are wired in all of our brains. And this is what moves poll numbers, this is what moves um, everything that you want to know in terms of why things are happening can be explained from this map. And I'm going to be rolling this out uh, in terms of explaining my science of social space-time science, social space, which I call the social space-time framework. The framework is the whole thing. It's a consilience of all the sciences. Um, it's not just the co cosmology, but it also has to do with biology and neuroscience and social psychology. Uh, and so th it, this is a, uh, and, and which includes biology of hormones and things of that. And they all overlap each other into the same exact thing. Uh, and you can see here, finally, uh, what, I, what I'm showing here is that this uh, the, is that this is all related to physics, it's like Einstein's E equals MC squared. Uh, through those physics, through the physics of that is translational to life. Um, uh, it's to our DNA and um, the, the 3D geometry of how DNA is created as well as how that's proliferated across what you see here is a leaf. But to the way to the reef mirrors itself, you can also see that mirror. Um, how things cross over in society, which is, is the same crossover, like the left side of the leaf and the right side of the leaf as well. All right, so over the next few months, I'm going to be rolling all this out. Um, and this is just for all of you who may be interested. This was one of the maps of, um, that I drew out of the presidential election last year. Um, this, I believe, was in... Um, I, this, I think this is in September of 2020. So this is what the map looks like. It's a little, uh, it's a little messy, but, but this is the precise uh, layout of, of social space time.